We're back live, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there you wow. see May Young, who just flashed off the top rope by a couple of air All these animals that Bischoff has sicked on two defenseless women. Well, and the 80s. fabulous Mula and May Young, everybody. I just knew that they were going to make a big splash. <laughs> Here on Raw. Now, I know it wasn't the nicest thing to do, but see, I did it to prove a point. And that would be? Things happen on Raw. Things happen on Eric Bischoff's Raw. You see, the people on this show, they all know that Eric Bischoff is in charge. See, all I have to do is snap my fingers and things just happen. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm being here. Uh oh. Well, Bishop will do anything for ratings, but. Oh. Well, I'd like to see him snap his fingers now. The former WWE undisputed champion, The Undertaker, is not somebody you just snap your fingers and he hops to it. And he, he don't go away either. Undertaker on his way to Pittsburgh on Sunday, but more specifically, aside from Pittsburgh Sunday, The Undertaker on his way now to, I assume, to address our general manager. You assume? Look at Bischoff. He's uh, finally shut the hell up. Uh-oh. You don't look happy. So you're the head brother in charge now, huh? And did I just hear you say, by the snap of your fingers, you make things happen? He said it. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you snap your fingers right now and let's see what happens? Mr. Bischoff, you don't have to take that from this man. He is nothing more than a bully trying to intimidate you like he did me last week. Mr. Harvard! You're in charge, Mr. Bischoff, not The Undertaker. Chris Nowinski. That's why I want you to make him apologize to me for putting his hands on me last week. It's not my fault you don't have a college degree, much less one from Harvard, yeah. but that's no reason to attack me. Make him apologize to me. Make him apologize right now. Yeah, make him. Just make him apologize. Make him mean it. I, I, I'll tell you what, Chris. I, I'm going to go you one better because I, I can see that you've got just so much ruthless aggression pent up inside of you. I, I'm going to give you an opportunity to work that aggression out right now in a match against The Undertaker right here. Oh, oh, oh no. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, wait, wait a minute. minute. You can't do that. Nobody tells The Undertaker what to do. You can't make him fight just by snapping your fingers. Isn't that right, Taker? This kid's talking on both sides of his mouth. Mr. Harvard Grant. Does have a good point, though. You know the kid's right. I'm not going to wrestle him just because Eric Bischoff says so. I'm going to wrestle him just because I like to fight. Look out! Our hand! And the match is on! No, get out of there, Chris! Wait a minute! Oh, look, here comes a referee. This, look out! This match is, is official. And I think maybe a, a Harvard graduate may have to stay after the school. Oh, no! This is not good! For Chris, can you imagine the Undertaker as a, as a principal, fight. the dean of men? Uh -huh. I respect the Undertaker. Oh. And, oh. Oh, don't underestimate the Harvard graduate, JR. Uh oh. Uh oh, no. Yeah. Chris Harvard going downstairs. That's the clothesline on the Undertaker. This kid's smart, JR. He's a Harvard grad. Captain of the Harvard football team got yeah. a three point stance. 
scores at a drop kick. And look here! Got a two! Oh! Got a near fall to Chris Harvard on The Undertaker. And The Undertaker seems to be reeling here. Three point stands. Oh, great average. Oh, no. Well, Harvard was a, he was an honor student. Straight A student at Harvard. Undertaker, on the other hand, was an honor student. He was always saying, Yes, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Oh, yes. The low school for the, for the young cop. Setting up the learning tree of The Undertaker. He's already got all the learning he needs from Harvard. Well, this will learn you, darn you. Oh, no. Not this. Have you ever studied for this final? And this is a real final. It's real for it. Let's call the last ride. Oh, no. Emphatically over. Undertaker. Watch this shot by test. Three on one. Let's on, let's, move. let's move. Wow. Right to the man's face. And then the concerto from the tag team champions, Christian oh. and Storm. And well, these, the Un-Americans, they swore they'd make an you impact. You see the way Undertaker went down? He'll never be the same and again. we left him lying in front of all those stupid Americans. Awesome. Yeah, but guys, our night's not over yet. Yeah, we got one more piece of business to take care of, and you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's, Let's go, go, guys. Come on. What the hell does that mean? Now what? One more piece of business? 